got this game because I love this game now. I absolutely love it. But when I first got it, it just made no sense to me and I hated it. And there's a couple of things that I couldn't find answers for on YouTube um, that are, are really easy, really... Oh, look, there's a moose. Oh, should we try and get that moose? This was not what this video was going to be about. This video was going to be about setting up your... Uh, setting up your your guns and everything and how to how to pick stuff but it kind of feels a bit crazy if there's a moose there not just to score some really easy points where do you go moose oh, sorry where is he there oh no that's another moose oh there's a herd of mooses 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 Mo Moosei. What do you call a herd of mooses? See, and I'm hiding. I'm just hiding in this bush so they can't see me. But I want that. Oh, I wonder if they've seen me because I ran. I made the mistake of running. Where's the big moose? Oh, I could have. That's a go. Ah, oh, he's behind there, I think. So where are oh, they heading? Oh, so I've got a feed zone just over here. So they're heading off to a feed zone. Now, shall I do the video on how to set up your <laughs> your guns, or shall I go and chase? All right, I'm not going to go and actively attack these mooses, but it just seems a bit crazy not to pop a moose if there is a moose here. And these guys are heading somewhere. Uh, these girls, rather, are heading somewhere. So it just seems a bit silly not to have a little crack at one if I can. See, I have a thing about hunting girl animals at the minute. I feel like I should be hunting just the guy animals. Um, and I don't know if there's anything in that. If you kind of... You know, if you leave a certain, like if you leave the girl animals, does that mean that you can have more baby animals? I don't know. Um, so I just, I've just been trying to hunting, hunting males of various species. Um, but there, there was a male moose there. See, where are you going? There he is. I shouldn't even be running, but maybe the rain is kind of covering my footprints a bit, or covering my footsteps. Okay, we're gonna leave. I think we're gonna leave those moose because I think they're just heading off to a uh, to a feed zone. No, we're not. He's coming back. Right. Okay. I tell. You, okay. I tell you what. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait in this bush, and if he comes back, then we'll try and pop off that that male moose. See, again, I'm just using my hiding technique of hiding in a bush. And if he comes out here, because I think he might come out here, because I've seen them here before. See, she's kind of heading down there. So if they come out here, then they're worth, you know, that's worth, worth taking a hit. It's quite a long way away, though. I don't like shooting them when they're that far away. And plus, you can see the wind cone. So they're going to be, they're going to smell me soon. Oh, gone. Was she walking the other way? I thought she was walking towards me. Where have you gone, Lady Moose? Okay, yeah, I think maybe they've gone. Okay, well that, do you know what, that's not what this video is going to be about anyway. This video, because um, I really kind of struggled, and I might just be really stupid. You guys might watch this video and think you're just a moron. Um, now we're going to hear footsteps as well. Um, yeah, you might just watch this video and think you're a moron, but there's a couple of things that I really struggled with. Um, so I was going to do a video because it it kind of would have really helped me when I was when I was first starting. So let's get back to our um, get back to our outpost. Um, so there are ah, oh, why is everything trying to tempt me in? Well, 
Where are you, little coyote? Okay, no, let's go back, let's stay on track. We're going to go back to our outpost. Because um, I'm going to show you how to... Um, how to change guns um, and how to change the the loadout that you've got and how to have a look at the, the right gun for we came a long way quarter of a kilometer um, yeah how to change the loadout depending on obviously what you're hunting because all the time that we're shooting we want to get the highest you know the highest score per animal obviously getting you know getting lots of animals is great but we want to try and maximize the score that we get on those animals as well um, so the the gun that you use is going to be quite important um, in terms of trying to max out your score. Oh, I wish I hadn't gone for the moose now. They were so far away. I didn't realise how far we'd gone. Um, and also there was a really stupid thing. I couldn't work out how to get my um, how to get my gun from my from from the shop onto my back, if you like. And maybe what I should have done is just read an instruction manual. Um, or, you know, or got online and, you know, specifically looked for help, but I couldn't find that. But anyway, so on each output that we that we go to, as you go around the map, uh, I can see something over there again. No, I can't. It was fluff. As you go around the map, you'll have the opportunity to to unlock the uh, to unlock these little outposts. And it's worth um, just taking one gaming session just to just to go around and go to, um, you know, these these little high outposts because it will show you sorry these high lookout towers because it will show you where these outposts are um, and it means you can rest you can stock up stock up on ammo etc etc so if I go into here so the first thing that we see is the store um, so these are these are all the guns that you know that you could kind of possibly you know possibly have and you want to try and um, and match the gun to to what you're doing so whoa that was a big bit of thunder Jesus Wow, that's a crazy bit of thunder. I don't think I've ever been out in a lightning storm before. Um, so here are all your guns. So I think the one that you start with, depending on which DLC you've got, is the 243. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, so you'll, you'll go here, you'll get your rifle, um, you'll get your ammo, um, you'll get any sights. Um, it's worth getting some, um, you know, some, some lures and coolers, except for, you know, etc and then they all go everything that you buy goes into your storage um, so so this is your storage so on the right hand side on the left hand side of the screen you can see everything that I've got in my storage box so I haven't got that much yet because I'm still kind of quite new to the game but everything on the right hand side is everything that I'm actually carrying so you can only carry certain things at certain times and I thought that once I'd bought something from the store and it had gone into, you know, gone into my to my locker, then it was already kind of on my back and, you know, and, and that was, you know, that was fine. But it doesn't really work like that because you have to get your gum, um, you have to click on it so that it goes into your inventory. Um, don't forget to also then go down and pick the relevant ammo for that gun and put that in your inventory. And then you come and you just step back, press your options button, go to your inventory, um, and then there is the there's the gun that I just put in. Um, so it's not yet. I'm not yet carrying it. Well, I kind of am carrying it, but it's not there as quick access. So I'm going to want to press the gun, go to an open slot, and there it is in the open slot. And then from there, had I have collected the ammo, I could have collected the ammo, then gone over to the gun and clicked it, and then obviously put a sight on as well. Um, but bear in mind that you that you can't you know there's only a finite amount of stuff that you should carry so what i re would recommend that you that you carry is so so i've got um, like a couple of guns i have my big hunting gun which was which is my uh, empress magnum um oh where's it gone there you go so i've got my big hunting gun this one i don't normally have i've got my um air rifle because they're brilliant for coyotes and reasonably sort of close range deer and i've got my shotgun 
um, for if I'm doing really close range um, kind of stuff. Um, then I keep um, obviously the ammo for those. I've got a couple of callers. Uh, sorry, I've got the sight. Oh, that does not need to be in there because that goes on the handgun. Um, so let me just take that out and then that will that create some space for something else. So take that out there. So I've got a scope and I've got the same scope on, on everything. I don't have any scope on my shotgun. Um, then I've got a couple of um, callers, a couple of lure, uh, couple of um, lures, um, a scent eliminator. I have my range finder, but you might just have your binoculars if you're just starting out. But then also it's a really good idea to stick a tent in there. Because now, um, wherever I go, like I've, I think I've got three or four tents. And let's say, for example, um, I come down here and I find a really good, a really good kind of hunting spot that, that I want to come back to. And this one was quite good, actually, because there was those, you know, there were the mooses, moosei passing by. So it means that I can go ahead and I can kind of... Um, I didn't put the tent in my inventory. Hold on. So I've now got to put that tent into my quick access. So there we go. Portable structures. And we'll put it just there. Um, so it now means that I can go and I can find my tent. Um, I can find a little spot to... There. Find a little spot to put my tent. And it means that I've that I've then got all of my storage stuff and my shop that I did have at my outpost, I've now got that in my tent. Um, so if I find somewhere really good, I can leave that tent there um, you know, go traveling all the way around here, blah, 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 blah. And then I've always got f a fast travel access um, to come back to my little tent just here. Um, so obviously it's not worth leaving that one there because it's sort of right next to a waypoint. But it's it's a really good thing to, to have in your inventory because it just means that you can set up absolutely anywhere. Um, so there you go. So that was today. Oh, I want to show you one more thing before I go, actually, um, before I say that was today's video. So there are some hunting things. And this is, I'm, I'm going to look really dumb for this, right? But if I go in here and I rest till night time, then come out and I'm hunting. I was using a DLC. Um, I was using the, the night vision DLC, which was great because everything was in, you know, night vision. I could kind of look through my night vision monocular and everything was perfect. But the one thing that I couldn't see um, was animal tracks. So I shot this moose and then I was having to use my range, my night vision range finder like this to follow the animal tracks because I didn't realize that you have this so you've got a lamp um and again i apologize if this is really stupid maybe i'm just really old and i didn't spot this but if you put the lamp on it will illuminate all of the tracks that fall kind of round and about where the where the beam is and i was kind of hoping that we would find a track so that i could show you um and um I haven't been able to, to sort of get confirmation of this. I've had a look online um, and it seems that some people say they do and some people say they don't. I can't work out, there you go, tracked. I can't work out whether animals get scared by the lamp or not. I don't think they do because I've hunted before and I've had animals come walking straight up to it. But you can see how easy that makes it at night and without it, Obviously, it's night time, so you get nothing. So what I'm doing is just um, right, uh, just pressing the right stick, and that turns my lamp on and off. Um, so, so there you go. These are just really stupid things that that I didn't realise, and that maybe you know, maybe you guys did. Um, but for, for me, it, it took me a while. And you will figure them out anyway. Um, it took me a while to figure out. I mean, it's it's such a brilliant game. I mean, I'm rubbish at night hunting. I need to get better at it. It's such a brilliant game. Um, and it was, it was just such a shame for me that the first time I played it, I, I deleted it and reinstalled it because I thought it was broken because I wasn't seeing any animals. So if you're not seeing any animals when you go and hunt, go and check out the other little video that I did um, that will show you sort of where the animals are and then um, go and see what you can hunt. Okay, thank you.